Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's around 10.30 a.m. and I had a personal training session this morning so I'm feeling very accomplished and it's now time for me to go and grab a coffee so that's where I'm off to now. I'm going to the South Melbourne market. Mum and I, we catch up there every week. It's kind of where we have our little Friday morning ritual, it's so nice. And then later today I'm going out for dinner and going to see a movie for the first time in a long time. I don't think I went to a cinema in 2020, so I'm looking forward to that and I'll let you know how it all goes and I'm just gonna film another weekend vlog. So without further ado, let's get this video started. I thought I'd show you guys my outfit of the day as well. So today I'm wearing this Skin and Threads cashmere sweater, which I love. I love the pink so much. Can you tell I like pink? Maybe, maybe not. Stool over there my book <laughs> everything is pink I love it and I've got this strawberry necklace on as well which I actually received as a gift I love it so much too Louis Vuitton handbag I've got my page denim jeans on and then just some flats as well so that's my look for today might be our last coffee for a while <laughs> if we go into lockdown again <laughs> We're here at Nine Yards, just having a bit of a coffee, coffee catch up, so cheers. We were young and we were free and running. It's a little bit later on now and I have some bad news for you guys. We are back in lockdown here in Melbourne for five days. I mean, they're saying five days, but let's hope it stays that way because that's what happened the last lockdown and it kept extending and extending. I think it's just a shame because today is Lunar New Year, you know, Sunday is Valentine's Day and we have the tennis as well. So it is really hard seeing Melbourne shut down again and go back into stage four restrictions. We can only travel within five kilometers of our home. We can only exercise for two hours a day as well. So we do go quite strict here when it comes to lockdown, but you know what? I'm in a good headspace about it. I'm just trying to focus on what I can control and maybe some time at home over the weekend might be good for me to just clean a few things out, get organized and get ahead with Frenchie too. So I'm going to try and use this time to the best of my ability, but we still have tonight. I'm making the most of the present moment. I'm catching up with my friend Chanel. We're going for dinner and then we're going to see a movie. So I'll keep you posted, but I just wanted to give you guys that update. So we'll see how it all goes. Just enjoying our last catch up before we go into another lockdown, so we're making the most of this one. Exactly, the food looks so good as well. Bon appetit! Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. Last night I saw the movie Promising Young Woman at the cinemas with my friend Chanel and I would highly recommend it. Such a well-made film and definitely gives you a lot to think about. So I'm glad that I fit in a movie before lockdown because now we're in our five day lockdown. It's Saturday morning. I'm going to go into the city for a coffee, for a takeaway coffee and my daily dose of exercise. We are back to those days again. Two hours of exercise a day. So let's make the most out of it. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later I have started thinking. Hello everyone, it's a bit later on now, it's 4.30 and I feel like today is just dragging on, seriously. Lockdown life, it does stretch the days out, which is why I'm going for a walk now, just to break the day up to get in some movement so that when I get home and I have dinner, I feel like that's it for the day. I've actually, you know, gone out for a bit, even though it's just been for exercise, it still makes you feel so much better. So that's my plan of attack for lockdown to just make the most out of my two hours of exercise each day. So to the beach we go. And did I mention I'm wearing my Frenchie sweater, which you can still purchase at Frenchie by ChelseaElizabeth.com forward slash shop. If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you I'm fresh faced 
in my pajamas and I actually just did a face mask I thought I'd show you guys which one I did it's the cosmetics glow bamboo brightening mask and I love how it leaves my skin feeling really just smooth and glowy and whenever I use it at night I always wake up with super vibrant skin in the morning so this is like my go-to I've been using this for years now but I wanted to actually share some tips with you guys that I've written out for lockdown life I actually posted this on Instagram before so I thought I would share them with you because in case you didn't know here in Melbourne we were in lockdown for a lot of 2020 so I definitely know what it's like to be in lockdown I'm very familiar with that kind of life we're back here now and I learned so many lessons from lockdown 2020 that I want to bring into this year so that I don't repeat things that didn't necessarily work for me. So first things first, dressing up because it helps me lift my mood each day and makes me feel really good. So I want to stick to dressing up each day, enjoying my daily takeaway coffee run. I love making a bit of a ritual out of getting coffee because especially in lockdown it really just gives you something to you know get out of the apartment for also sticking to my usual routines and adapting them to lockdown life so you know I don't want to get out of routine I've worked really hard to build quite a healthy routine at the moment in my life a morning routine a nighttime routine and even how I spend my daytime so I really don't want to lose sight of that just because I'm in lockdown now so that's another you know part of lockdown life that I'll be focusing on also connecting with family and friends online super important and I've really worked hard to get back to you know socializing again and just because the five days of lockdown are here doesn't mean that I have to stop being a social creature <laughs> Also focusing on what I can control rather than, you know, the timings that are given to us by the government. Like it's good to, you know, focus on what you can control because you can't control when lockdown ends. You just can't. Also eating foods that nourish my mind, body and soul. I'm not letting this lockdown give me an excuse to, you know, eat foods that I wouldn't usually eat or get out of routine in that sense because I've been so good with my eating since 2020 lockdown. Like I'm making a lot more home cooked meals. I'm eating a lot of nourishing foods and I want to continue that. And lucky last, watching lots of Netflix, Stan and binge. So send your recommendations my way because I need your help. I have no shows to watch at the moment. I feel like I've exhausted all of my options. So I would love to hear from you guys, but that's how I'm getting through this five days. And I know that maybe five days seems really short and I guess it is, you know, five days. What are five days in the grand scheme of things? But, you know, seeing as we were in lockdown for so long last year, I think for us Melburnians, it's not knowing if it is just going to be five days because you know last time it started out as quite a small lockdown and it got extended out and out and out again so i think that's where the stress comes from for a lot of us and we've just got to keep it real you know it's okay to feel all of the feels but reach out to people for help like it's okay to do that we're all in this together and i just wanted to share some of my tips for getting through the next five days as well but for me now it's time to make a hot chocolate and also switch off from social media you know I've gotten into a really good habit this week actually of stopping my scroll from 8 p.m. onwards like no Instagram no Facebook no YouTube after 8 p.m. so I really want to continue that I don't want lockdown to let me slip because I feel like having that digital detox even just from 8 p.m. to about you know 8 or 9 a.m. is really good for me and I need to keep keep making that habit you know priority in my life it's Sunday morning it's also Valentine's Day so happy Valentine's Frenchie fam will you be my Valentine I'm wearing this Ralph Lauren white and blue striped linen shirt today with my framed denim jeans going for a very casual Sunday look but still dressing up just to keep me keep me you know feeling my best in lockdown to be honest because we are in lockdown day two now so three full days to go after this we've got this it's time to go and get a coffee though. I definitely need to get out of my apartment, stretch my legs and get some fresh air. I also thought I'd show you guys what perfume I'm using at the moment. 
It's the Jo Malone Orange Bitters Cologne. So delicious. I get so many compliments on this one as well. So I'm going to spritz some of this on. I go a bit overboard because why not? <laughs> oh, I got you. There's no reason to. Chasing pavement on my own. It's now around 1 p.m. I'm heading off to the South Melbourne market to get my peanut butter and jelly smoothie from the Village Juicery. Still keeping up my routine because I think it's really important to just stick to some kind of routine in lockdown, which is what I'm doing. We went for a walk past the Docklands before and it was just empty. There was nobody around. It's really sad to see that there's not that same atmosphere anymore, which I definitely miss. But you know what? Hopefully it's just for five days. What can you do? You can't do anything about it. So you just have to have fun. And we just had a bit of a business brainstorm before this as well. So I feel like it's giving me a bit of time to really think about Frenchie. And I am moving in a different direction with Frenchie at the moment. I'm rebranding as a high performance coach. So check out my social media to see more about that at Frenchie by Chelsea Elizabeth. You know it's quiet at the South Melbourne market when you can actually get a car park close by cuz you're here to stay every night and day i'm the light cuz i got you i have always been afraid of change my apartment is nice and clean now as you guys would have just seen i gave it a bit of a clean up so that tomorrow on monday when i wake up my apartment is fresh I'm ready to work because I love having a clean space, clean space, clear mind. That's why I like to really give my apartment a bit of a clean on a Sunday afternoon. So we're all good to go now. I am going to end this video here. I hope you've enjoyed this weekend vlog. I would love to hear what you'd like to see more of on my channel. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Come and join the Frenchie fam. I'd love to have you on board. And I'll be seeing you in a brand new video next week, hopefully out of lockdown. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll speak to you all soon.